Rise in Paradise, Tana Marlowe. MMA fighter who has been revealed as a victim. This is a mad one. Crazy things are happening in the latter part of 2023, 2022 even into 2023. Victim of a Christmas Eve double homicide in Bakersfield. So I think that's California, right? An undefeated MMA fighter has been revealed as one of the two individuals killed in Bakersfield double homicide on December the 24th. Or as we say in the UK, the 24th of December. Per the Bakersfield PD, two men were discovered dead inside a house near the 9700 block Snowden Avenue in the early hours of Christmas Eve. Subsequent investigation found that the estranged boyfriend of a female homeowner had broken into the residence to confront the woman and another man who was present. Both men are said to be armed and an ensuing firefight shot and killed each other with the woman escaping the incident unharmed while the two deceased individuals have not been officially named. One has been identified as by relatives as Tana Marlowe. Terrible news. Um, as we've touched on, CTE, combat sports, it is a, um, it's a dangerous sport. It's a dangerous sport, not just for the combatants whilst they're taking place, but the future effects. Uh, whether this was indeed CTE or was this a lover's quarrel, you know, um, jealousy, you know, whatever. But this has now resulted in two people no longer on this plane of existence. Um, thoughts, prayers to both people involved, uh, both families, I should say, involved. Um a GoFundMe page has been created to support the grieving parents. Um, Tana Marlowe was dubbed the American Psycho, oddly enough. Um, crazy, man. Crazy. Life is way too short for this year, man. Way too short. The 30-year-old had a career within the LFA and were, had a flawless record of 4-0 and zero, um, before the shootout. Very, very unfortunate. Again, thoughts and prayers with the family. Um, the goal from me, because the goal of um, 10,000 and... The latest I saw is about four something. The so trust they can. I mean, look, why on earth would the? This is. I mean, obviously, LFA isn't the, the creme de la creme in regards to a fighting promotion, but this is just an uh, athlete shouldn't need to go through this, man. We we it's it's this should be a wake up call to everybody, whether you are a professional athlete or not. Death is guaranteed, whether it's you know, of natural causes or, or otherwise, we need to put things in place just in case. Just in case. Live in the moment and plan for the future. 